Hey, what's going on guys? It's Caleb and welcome back to another After Effects tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about how to animate lines inside of After Effects using one effect and that's going to be trim paths. So, the first thing we're going to do is go to layer and then we're going to find new and we're going to go to shape layer and then I'm going to grab the pen tool. The keyboard shortcut for that is G. So, in the middle of our composition, roughly in the middle, I'm going to make one point and then to make a straight line, I'm going to go to another point and I'm going to hold down shift and then click again. And whenever I hold down shift, that's going to uh, make sure it goes along that axis so that it doesn't, so if I am not holding down shift, it's gonna be very hard for me to get a precise, exact, like straight line. So when I hold down shift and click, it makes one straight line for me. And then on that line, I'm going to do control, alt, and home. And for you Mac users, that's gonna be command, alt, and home, I think. I'm not exactly sure. Um, command, alt, and whatever home is on a Mac. It might be home, I'm not sure. But we have, with that, basically a centered upper anchor point. Um, so now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the shape layer, the one we just made that line on. So I'm going to open that up, and then I'm going to go to add right here. It says, once you open up, you press that arrow, bring it down, and then you see add, and then a little like play button. Press that button, and then you're going to find an effect called trim paths. And this effect is in that intro, if you guys saw the, the line getting cut and moving all over the place and growing and shrinking and all that good stuff I made all of those little effects using this effect right here this is awesome for animating lines you can get any cool line animation you want this can even be done with circles and whatever other shape layer you want to make so over here you can go get all these cool shapes um, but for this one I'm just talking about lines but keep in mind you can do this with other shape layers as well so trim paths we're gonna go and find the start percentage here so if we bring the start up you can see it's moving it down um, and then the end brings it the other way now one of my favorite effects to do with this is a like a like a line movement animation so with our end at 50 percent this could be at any percent you want but i'm just making it half the size um, that it would typically be and now with offset here we can just move this and then it just kind of goes around forever that's really cool very simple and complex looking animation made within seconds um, I'm just gonna kind of go over the the effects that I did in the, the beginning bit here so uh, one effect that I did was uh, just simply animating the line to, to kind of die off um, so keyframing the end position I can move forward a little bit and then bring that down to zero and as we can see, that's just going to make that line go away like that. And if we want to get a cool effect going in motion, I can just get a simple easing on that and then play it through. And we can see a cool little line animation. So you could do something like this if you wanted to like, um, if you had like a, some text above it, like if you want to make some text and then do, um, just name it text. And then you wanted to kind of like um, make it a big point and kind of underline it and then make the underline go away. That would be something cool to do with that. So you can bring it like that, looks good. And then if you wanted to do it in the opposite direction, so instead of having it go that way, you could go ahead and uh, keyframe the start. So go that way, bring that up, and then that brings it the opposite direction. So it goes like that, goes down that way, very cool. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is have the line kind of uh, uh, go away half and half. So. What I did for that was I keyframed the start and brought it to 50%, so 50, so it went that way. And then at the end of that 50% animation, whenever the, the start finished its animation, I keyframed the end and made that go away by 50% as well, so that um, the line just kind of disappears, so it kind of looks like it's getting eaten up or something. So one half goes away, then the next half goes away. Um, that's, um, that's a cool little animation you can do with that. Boom, looks good. And uh, the next one I did, which is kind of like my favorite of all of these, is the offset line animation. So uh, we can bring that to uh, say 50% on the end like I did earlier. And then on the offset, I just keyframed that, went forward a bit, and brought the revolution to one. Um, basically what that means is that it's gonna go around all the way. So uh, it's the same thing as typing in 360, so it goes around one full time. So uh, we watch that through. And now it's just doing this cool little animation here where it, it kind of goes off the screen and then comes back. It's really cool. And you can make this go on forever. Like if you wanted to uh, make it revolve uh, like five times or something. So instead of it just going by once, we could go, let's say five, right? So that means it's going to go and do that animation five times. 
Um, so check it out. Let's watch that through. So, boom. Watch that play through. Let me bring it in closer. It's not as slow. Brought it a little bit too far. So watch that. There it goes. That's it's. I, I don't know. It's so satisfying. That little that little animation there is really satisfying. And the fact that it's so easy to do is really cool to me. So you can make all these cool line animations and even get creative with it. Make different kinds of line animations. Get really creative with this trim paths effect. And also, like I said, keep in mind, we can do this on like a circle or a rectangle or whatever. Um, it works best on strokes, is what I realized. So keep in mind the shape layer. There is no fill, it's a stroke. The trim paths look, works really good and looks really good with strokes. Um, so just so I can show you guys an example of what it looks like on a circle, I'm gonna go to layer, I'm on a laptop, so the, uh, trackpad has been really difficult for me to get used to. I should be using a mouse, but I'm not. Um, I'm gonna hold down shift on this again. Holding down shift is really helpful for making even shapes. So I'm not holding down shift, I'm creating this circle. It's getting all wobbly and crazy, but if I just hold down shift, it makes it nice. It makes it look like an actual circle. So I'm going to center that up in the middle of the composition. So I'm gonna center that up in the middle of the composition there. Um, so. Uh, we have a circle with a 15 width stroke, and then I'm going to go down like we did with the line. I'm going to bring that down and add a trim paths. And now this is really cool. We can just simply animate the circle to kind of go around like that. Um, and then, you know, again, doing that cool offset thing, we can make this circle just go around forever. Just going along this path here. Very cool, very simple, really easy to get done, um, but that's pretty much it for animating lines with trim paths inside of After Effects. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like if you did, and make sure you guys go and follow me on Instagram. That's at CRWLancaster. You can find that down in the description. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.